Let's take a look at Barry Sanders. Part of being a good student is not only seeing the things that are nice and make you feel comfortable, but looking at the picture as a whole, not just seeing the things that you want to see, but looking at the entire picture objectively, taking in all of what's there, weighing in all the factors that you can, and allowing the picture to openly and honestly present itself. For every one of the good positions, there's a misunderstood position. For every safe position, there is a dangerous position. People enter into all in order to learn and gain a strong understanding as to what it is to move. So something that I've identified in Barry Sanders is that when he gets into the open field, after he gets through the line of defenders, he has a tendency to run flat-footed, as in he will land on most of the surface area of his foot and at other times all of the surface area of his foot while running in the open field. So when he first gets the ball, he'll obviously look for a hole, juke, spend more time on his midfoot and up on his toes, inside edge, middle and outside edge of the foot. But then as he gets into the open field, a lot of times when he's at full sprint and past the defenders, he's running full speed, utilizing a flat foot. He'll slam on the middle, heel will touch, and then he'll go up onto a toe and not really get a picture perfect track push off. And you notice with his left foot, he does it more, which is why he has so much of a kickback because the foot has a lot more of a, a way to kick back forwards versus on his right leg where he does it less. But it's very interesting because in a lot of ways, it's a no-no. In a lot of ways, people don't do it, haven't seen it often. And I've never seen it be identified in uh, anyone else's running, especially Barry Sanders. So we're gonna just take another look here. All right, Barry's gonna go look, be up on his toes running looking for the hole getting into the open field and then once he gets through the line of defenders we'll see again that he's almost running fully flat footed at full speed did you see that boom flat flat foot landing flat foot landing and a push off and that's why his strides look the way that they do it's wild to take a look at and uh other people you see they don't do that Barry isn't and wasn't the fastest guy in the world, but what he was is a really strong and controlled runner and experienced very few known injuries and obviously was a great performer. Now, the nature of sport is changing. People don't look up to it the same way that they do, but something that I feel will always enjoy watching and taking benefit from studying is the motion practices of top tier human beings in competition we're always going to want to move well and we're always going to want to do things advantageously for performance for aesthetics to feel good to heal and to grow so we need to look at these practices in order to elevate our own practices openly and honestly by looking at what we see here barry sanders flat foot running going out hitting the outside of the foot and the heel transitioning towards the big toe and a mixture between lifting his foot off the ground and pushing his foot off the ground, which is kind of in between what's commonly taught today. There's usually two schools of thought. Well, he's combining them all in this flat foot running style once he breaks into the open field. It is uh, absolutely interesting and worth noting. Here we go again, flat foot, slams into the ground, really grounds and pushes off, uses all of the foot in many instances. Again there, inside edge, outside edge, middle. So my question, I guess, and my own hypothesis as to why he does this is actually to a great misunderstood and maybe not thought of benefit. The theory as to why I feel Barry did this with the flat foot running is as follows. So if you have more area of yourself touching the surface, the potential is you can have more ability to react. So for example, if you only have one part of your foot touching the ground, that means you have less options to move and react. 
So by him running with more of his foot flat, that gives him way more options to move around and react to the defenders based on what he's trying to do. So if my foot's down and it's like this, for example, all right, well, I got a couple things I could do here and there, maybe pivot a little bit. Cool. If my whole foot is there, I can do whatever I need to. I can come up on the toe and pivot and switch, change direction inside, cross over outside, boom, spin around. There's so much more options if you have more surface area to work off of. No shit. Game changer. Barry actually will do this when he's changing direction as well. Many times, though he'll spend time on the inside edge, outside edge, middle of the foot, he'll also do this from a flat foot. So he's not changing direction up on his toes or on either edge all the time. Many times he's functioning and doing these things from being flat footed, not always up on his toes. His heels are not always elevated, which again, modernly, it's supposed to be a no-no. But I'm not seeing anyone that's staying this shit that's better than Barry Sanders as far as seeing them run gracefully and powerfully in the open field. So let's take a look at someone who's actually doing this shit and what are we seeing honestly? He's utilizing a flat foot being on the ground in many instances, running at top speed, right? You're not supposed to be able to do this and it's not supposed to be beneficial, yet he's doing it all the time. And what you're seeing from a balanced, natural, honest perspective is that he's utilizing his foot in a way that it is entirely designed to do and that's in all ways so this should be like megaphone blaring evidence for that it can be advantageous to us to utilize our mechanics the way that they're designed and as you can see it is highly beneficial potentially you got to train it and figure out your own style but could be extremely advantageous and beneficial to train this way and utilize the things that we see from great people, at least from a motion perspective, that you can do it healthily, you can do it well, and when done right, it can be powerful, magical even for those who believe. And you see everything, all the different things that the different systems mention, you see Barry Sanders put together. Lightning strike.